represents a separation. That's why Muslims pray with something on their head. Because there's a barrier between them and God. Did you not notice when I asked every Muslim here, does anyone know for certain that they're going to be with God in paradise? Not one could say yes. Why is it that the believer in Jesus Christ can say yes? You know why? The barrier is removed. We don't need that anymore. We don't have no barrier because the Bible says Jesus paid the penalty for our sins. Yours and mine. That you can go close to God again. You can be the image of God on this earth again. That's why there is boldness with the believer. That's why there are miracles with the believer. Things happen in the name of Jesus. I don't see any miracles done in the name of Muhammad. But I see people get saved and delivered at the name of Jesus. If Jesus was not the Lord, none of that could happen. Why is it that we see no miracle of Muhammad? And don't tell me the miracle was the splitting of the moon. Because the last time I checked, the moon is intact. It is intact. There ain't no splitting of the moon. No, there isn't. Now, if you said he split the moon, then I'm going to say I split the sun. Watch. I split the sun, but I put it back together. What a miracle. Listen, that's not a miracle. Only God can perform miracles. Only God can raise the dead. Only God can open the eyes of the blind. Only God can heal the leper. And Jesus did it all. All of it. And he still does it today. Still. People coming off of wheelchairs. People that couldn't hear, they can hear again. People that had no self-esteem, their esteem given back to them again. This is the power of the name of Jesus. That's why I'm proud of the name of Jesus. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue. And you say, oh. Shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Why is Jesus Lord? Because he's sinless. He's in heaven. He rose from the dead. And he's coming back to judge the Dajjal. Why would Jesus be the man? Hey, they're bringing their, their, their uh, Imam. Bring it on. How are you? Allah says in the Quran. Are you the Imam? What is your name? Okay, he comes. Can't answer any questions. Do not discuss with the people of the book, except which is better. Don't discuss with the people of the book. No. You know why? Because the Quran says don't have Allah friends say with the in people the Quran, of the book. Because not, it's not, it's not, do he doesn't want to have a conversation. Discuss with the people of the book. He doesn't want to have a conversation. He except, says don't discuss. Except you know, let him in the way, in the way which is better. Which means okay. when I discuss with you, I should only discuss with you in a way which is better. Okay, Not so, like your waffling way, so, which is I don't Let me it. ask you, you're an imam? I am. What's the meaning of the name Isa? Isa? Yeah. Isa? Yeah. So you're an imam and you're telling me the, the name Musa is the same meaning of Isa? No, please don't touch. It doesn't have no, Don't touch. It doesn't have meaning. No, no, no. We are not okay. 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 Let me ask you something. You're an imam. No, no. Who are you? No, it's okay. I'm fine. Here's the message. You're an imam? I am. What's the meaning of the name in Jew? What's, what's the meaning of the word? The word which is and uh, that Allah has named it in Jil. That's all. That's you don't all. know. That's what we don't. Good news. Know. He doesn't know. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach you. The word in Jil is coming from the Greek word Evangelion, okay. which means good news. So what? So what was the good news of Isa? Allah. Since you're an imam. Allah didn't tell us in the Quran. What's the name of your master? Allah didn't tell us in the Quran. Because you're teaching people lies. Allah. You don't even know the meaning of the word Isa. You don't know the meaning hold of the name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't finish my word. Okay. It is, listen, if you want to have a good discussion with everyone, yeah? The way of discussion, you will have one minute you want to speak, and I have one minute. Wait, while you speak, I will not interrupt you. When I speak, do not interrupt me, yeah? So, now here, we said to you again, Allah in the Quran or in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi didn't tell us what is the meaning of Injil. He didn't tell us. But that doesn't mean it has bad meaning. Of course we know Allah has made the, 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 the meaning. The other thing, as will we 
the idea is we know that Allah we know that Allah Azzawajal has revealed to Isa alayhi salam a book. We know this. And we believe in it. We believe in Isa. You believe in Jesus. Peace be upon him as a prophet of God. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe that he was born with no father, but with a mother. Just like just like Adam, peace be upon him, was born with, a, with no father and no mother, and Allah has created him. This is common, now, this is common knowledge. Now, the, so, the so question now, is, so that's common knowledge. Everybody you knows ask that. Me, let, so, it's my turn to ask now. Okay, it's you want to ask me a question? Now, Go ahead. This is my turn to ask. Now, you say, you do believe, this is the first question, you believe Jesus, One question peace at be time. upon him, yeah. you believe Jesus, peace be upon him, is God, yes? Yes. yes, and you believe exactly. the Father is God, yes, yes. yes. and you believe oh, no. the Holy oh, no. Spirit is God, sure. yes. yes, all of them, God. each God of them, according to you, is as the same as the other, yeah. So, the question is to you when Jesus was crucified, what did he say? Someone remind me, Father, Father, why is thou forsaken? Okay, he's talking to who? the Father, who's talking to who? the Father. The God, okay. Son, well, talking to the God Father. Statement? This is a question. What's your question? So, can you explain, explain this to you? Very simple. It's very simple. You have your minute. Sure. The Bible says that Jesus was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. When He became flesh, He was fully God and fully man, and the man, Jesus Christ, died on the cross in submission and reliance upon the Spirit, which is the Father. Simple. So now going back to his say, he's, so, he's saying. Next no, no, question. No, 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 the same thing. Now, now comment. Now, to what you're saying. Sure. Now, you're saying that the one he said, Oh, Father, why have, why have you forsaken me? You're talking to. Jesus is talking to himself. Sure. So he is forsaking himself. Is, sure. is that what you're saying? Sure. The, 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 human, the humanity of Jesus Christ died. But Jesus, did he sure. lose his. his, in, his he never loses his divinity. No, no, he no, didn't he lose his divinity. No. No. So while he was on the cross. He didn't lose his divinity. No. And yet he said he's forsaken. Sure. Does God forsake him his people? <laughs> no, he doesn't. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. 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 That, that sounds so wonderful. Okay. Yeah, good. Let me ask you something. Is the Quran the word of God? Are you going to answer that question? I'm going to answer it. This is how I'm going to answer it. I'm going to answer it this way. Is the Quran the word of God? No, but that's a question with a question. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. It's a simple question. Yes. Okay, yes, after that. It is. is it, Answer yes. the question. Is it perfect? Uh, he's, 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 he's jumping in a... No, 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 I'm not jumping. I'm going to answer. No, 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 he's answering. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll be, I'll be very simple for you. Let's finish. I'll be very Let's simple just, for you. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll answer one. The word of God has a relationship with the Father because it comes forth from the Father but represents fully what the Father is. Would you agree? No. No, 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 no. Okay, so you would say the attributes of Allah are not Allah. What do you attribute of Allah? Yeah, no. You, you, you mean, have 99 attributes of Allah, right? That represent Allah. Yeah. Allah is just, merciful. When He reveals His mercy, all of, yeah, yeah, reveals, all of them, all of them. Is that Allah or is it something different? It's all of them stick to Him. Yeah. Stick to him. Is it Allah or no? It's stick to Him. No, it's, but it has a relationship with Allah. All of them stick to part of him. It's not a part of So notice this. He worships two gods. We're 99 actually. You know why? I gotta tell you why. Because you're telling me. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Let me answer. You want me to answer the give you your minute. And I'm answering you. Okay. So the answer that I told you is that the word, the spirit, has a relationship with the Father, but yet is one. I asked you about the attributes of Allah, which are 99, and I said, are they Allah? And you, you, you they said, represent no. Allah. Wait, hold on, let me just finish, let me finish. Just like you are not letting me finish. Face, you okay, I get you, I get you, but get me. No, you didn't, no, you didn't okay. get it. You let didn't. me finish. The Word of God has a relationship with God, but fully represents God and who He is. Can you agree to that? No. Okay, so the Word of God doesn't represent God? No. The Word of God, it is separate. What do you mean by the Word of okay, God? Okay, okay, fine. What do you mean by the Word of God? For example, the journalist, for example, let me go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran is the Word of God. Now here, what does it mean? Is the Bible Word of God? Uh, now the do you question, worship the Bible? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Now, now when you say the Word of God, it means it comes from Him. Sure. It, yeah, it, if you wanted to say, the speech of a person represents the person. Sure. And this applies to Allah. It represents the person. But it doesn't so now you're agreeing that now, it represents the person. No, but hold on a second. Person. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it is the person. Exactly. Okay. See the difference? Okay. Now, but it represents the person. Yeah. Represent what he All says. Does it, rep God. does it represent God perfectly? Just like the prophet of oh, God hold on. came from God. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Does it represent God perfectly? How do you mean? What do you mean? 
Does Those the word of God represent God perfectly? You said the Quran is they perfect, do as they right? Were Let's say, is the Quran perfect? Hold on a second. Let, let me tell you something. If you said to me, if it's the word of God, for example, the word of God represents the God. If the word, of, if it's true, the word of God, it represents the God perfect. Okay, so it does represent God perfect. If it's, if, if it's okay, you of, heard it. Yeah, it's the word you of stand God. to your word. Yeah, I'm to your so word. if it represents God perfectly and God is perfect, what can be perfect other than God? What's the, the, doesn't, doesn't make sense. I will say it again. For example, no, you, you said I wrote a book. God has said. Yeah. Well, if I, I wrote right. a book, but no, this is the hypocrisy of Islam, and I'll tell you why. No, 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 no. The no. Did I attack? Did I attack? Did I attack? Did I attack? No, but when I do speak, did I listen? When I do speak, you do you do interrupt. You do interrupt. Let us have good manners. Did I attack? You interrupt when I speak. Did I attack? And it's just I didn't. Okay, this is not about that. You interrupt me when I speak. No, it's hypocrisy. Use better words. Okay. Okay, look, look. Okay, if you said that the Quran or the Word of God represents God perfectly, and you said the Quran, the Word of God is perfect, and only God is perfect, then that means there's two perfects. Either you're telling me you worship two gods, you're committing shirk. Or you're telling me you worship one God who expresses himself perfectly through his word. Now I'm telling you that as a Christian, I believe in one God who expresses himself perfectly through his personified Come word, on. which yes. is named Jesus Christ. Okay. And this word became flesh and dwelt among us. Your word simply became a book. Okay, let, let, me, let me answer you. Let me finish. You finish? I, let, me, let me agree with you. You're saying, hold on, hold on. You're saying the word of God became a flesh, which is Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. So Jesus is perfect, yes? Yes. yes. It, it represents God perfectly, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> now here, if it represents God perfectly, does now we need to know, does God have any insufficient attribute? No. Imperfection. Any imperfection? No. Okay. Is God is all known? Yes. Is God all, is all known? Yes. 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 Yeah? Yes. Okay. If it's if God is all knowing, yes. is, uh, we don't want to say that much. Okay. Now if God is all knowing. Sure. When the people ask Jesus, when is the hour? What Jesus answers? No man knows except the Father. So, we have a God. The Son. The Son. The Son. The Son. The Son. The Son. The Son knows the hour. You missed that bit. No, no. Mark 13. Listen. I know the verse. The English. The English is not the language. Everyone who speaks in English. I got you. If someone asks me a question. Actually, you missed that question. And I said, no one knows about the hour. You missed that bit. Except the Father. Except the Father. No angels. No angels. Not the Son. Not the Son. Except the Father. Except the Father. So, the Son is imperfect in terms of knowledge Not which means if, if the sun is perfect it's ignorant of the hour and so god so the sun now is ignorant about the hour how is that perfect okay is that Go ahead. what's the perfect this is the other thing you no, said no, what, god, god is can i answer that question answer this question sure no, not a problem god. let me ask you something when you see the sun and the no when you see the sun and the rays come forth from the sun which one comes from which my friend, why is it always a question with a question? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know what? How about this? How about this? I won't give you a question because obviously you're not understanding. So I'm trying to break it down. Oh, okay, you know what? I, you know, let, 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 let me. He answered me question. Okay, okay. No, no, don't interrupt. Do you see what he does? We need him. We need to listen. Listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. So if the rays come forth from the sun, does the rays or the, the rays, uh, the, the feeling that you feel from the sun, any less of the sun? Yes or no? Yes. It's less of the sun? What, what's less of the sun? Okay. okay, let me put it this way for a second. The heat you, is not the sun. How do you know the sun exists? You, you, you see, the, you see the, the manifestation of the sun. And you feel its rays. Okay, so what you feel, you say, I'm feeling the sun. When you look, you say you're seeing the sun. Am I right? Okay. Okay, good. So what I'm trying to say is the rays that come forth from the sun have a source. And so when the sun says no man knows the day or the hour as the word of God, he will receive it in due time. So you're yes. saying so the source is the Father. Let, let, let me get, which let me get, the let word receives word it in due time. Are you saying the rays of the sun represent the sun? No, I'm, I'm giving you a you, this is your allergy. I'm giving you, you said Jesus you said Jesus represents God. Is that yours? And yeah. the rays doesn't represent the sun. This is two things. Oh, 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 oh,
Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, let me ask you. Too much to accept. No, no. No, it's too much to accept. See, you see. Hold on, hold on. Your no, no. analogy. You can say. up. You see what you say? Okay, so I call you a hypocrite. You say that's a false no, no, no. thing. And you say my analogy is messed no, up. I don't mind. Your analogy. So just you listen. As a person, your analogy is messed up. Got you. I'm going to use. Because that's the same analogy you use. No, no, no. You just don't realize it. I'll tell you why. I didn't, Are you going to even let me speak? Okay, speak, speak. Good. When I first asked you this very simple question, are the attributes of Allah Allah? And you said no. Am I right? No, he didn't say no. I didn't You're say on no. camera. He didn't say no. He didn't say no. Okay. They you said, changed your mind. Okay, said no. some of them okay so no. let me ask you now. Okay, clear no. it up. Some clear of them. it up, what man. Didn't ask okay, stop, stop, stop. Uh, they're well, not separate from Allah. They're not separate from Allah. Again. Are the attributes God, yes or no? They represent Allah, yes? They represent Allah. Is it, is it Allah? These are quality. For example, I'm a person. Very simple question. I'm a person. I'm honest. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm bad. These are things. These, these Why don't you explain are, with an example? These are qualities. Qualities. Why don't you explain an example? Explain because example. Look, the rat. The rat of Allah. Are you going to say the rat itself? The whole of the rat? That's all that Allah is? No. There are 99 attributes. The whole make a pop. Yeah. Sorry, the past make the whole. It's not the other way around. What you're saying is that just because Jesus is the word of God, he must be God. Right. Is the Bible the word of God? Yes. yes. Do you worship the Bible? No. no. Why not? You no. Know why? Why not? I'll tell you why. Why not? Because Jesus is the complete. He's not complete. Jesus said by myself, okay. I can do nothing. Okay, let me talk, to your, let me talk to your mom. Cause, cause no, 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 I can listen to you. Okay. But, uh, what, but let me finish. To no, but you're switching what I'm trying to say. I'm not. It's the same topic. Because you never answered my question. My friend, it's the same topic. No, no, don't switch. Actually, you you the not answer the question you asked. Okay, let me ask you. No, the question you asked you was, why does Jesus not know the last hour? I told you my answer. I gave you about the rays and I explained. The rays doesn't I explain. Already but there is no, he didn't like my answer. You know what was your answer? You said, you, you know said. What, what you're doing? Should I tell you what your answer was? No, no. Your you answer was, to... he will know in see? due time. You see what Nowhere I mean? in the Bible does it say he will know listen, in due time. He just made it's that very up. simple to answer these guys, but no, they don't want to listen. Uh, okay, they want to talk over let, let, let him see. Let him see. That's the manner of Muhammad. Say, say. Okay, last answer. Because Muhammad doesn't listen. Your answer. Do not attack the people. Listen, are you following Muhammad? Listen, listen. Your answer are you following was Muhammad? Listen, listen. Are you following Muhammad? Your answer was insufficient. Are you following Muhammad? Don't change the topic listen, now. Listen, listen. No, I'm actually, I'm not listen, changing the topic. Listen. You won't answer my question. Actually, you're on the ropes. You, you see what I mean? You're on the ropes. Okay. No, it's not. You don't want to answer? You don't want to answer? Maybe just do you want to answer? Are you going to answer? This is the character of Muhammad. This is what happened. I, I, I want you to answer cornered. my question. Now. Okay, are you going to answer my question? Sheikh asked He's not hearing. The Sheikh asked you. Are you going to answer my question? Does Jesus know the last hour? I told the you. The answer according to him Revelation. was very simple. It when says, it comes, it in due time, he will know. Where in the Bible does it say sure, that? You don't want to Show me. Sure. Show me in the Bible. Sure. Show me. Sure. Sure. He's going to say. I answered my question. Okay. Exactly. According to Mark chapter 13, verse 32, he says, No one knows. Okay, 1 0. 1 0 to you guys. Okay, so for the record, these guys don't want to answer my question. They want to talk over it. Except the Father in heaven. He doesn't want to answer it. He says very clearly, Listen, guys, 1 0. Okay, you answer my question. Okay, guys, I want you to notice something here. I'm asking him a simple question. He just got started, by the way. This guy wants to babble his mouth. Hey, Mom, are you going to put him in order? Oh, here comes. He's he's a, he's he comes he's, 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 he's one of yours. One yeah, he's one of mine. Yeah. He's one of yours. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? What he's doing? No. Initially, you said something. He's I, I asked. I asked a simple question. Okay. You asked a question. I said, Which are the Allah? attributes of Allah? Allah or Are they distinct from Allah? They are not distinct from Allah. They are not. Okay, so it is Allah. So you can understand. They are not distinct, but they are. Wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, guys. One person at a time. Please, please. No, no, guys. This is the Imam explaining. Okay, so he's saying the attributes are not distinct from Allah. Yeah, they are not separate from Allah. So the, okay. You're saying the opposite. Am I right? No, he's not. No, he's not. So the attributes are Allah. No, no. Hold on. Why do you always, why don't you let us answer? For example, if you ask the answer, question, Hold on, hold who's on. the scholar here? Hold on, hold on. Him or you? Hold on. Hey, Which one? Actually, are you against the rope? Okay. To take are you, you on, against the rope? To take you on, we don't need a scholar. Mm -hmm. A layman can do it. Okay. A layman can do it. Go ahead. You're that bad. Because you couldn't answer the question. You're that bad. You're cornered now. Hold on, hold on. Just a minute. Come on. Why do you say to you? For example, when I say to you, she's the one. Okay, guys. One person at a time. Let let the imam speak. Is that distinct? Yes. They are not separate from Allah. Absolutely. They are not separate from Allah. Okay, okay, okay. But those are those are full equality. These are full qualities of Allah, which means guys, guys, they represent Allah. Okay, but just time out. I'll let you speak. Please. Okay, guys. I just want one. One person to speak. And it's, by the way, Allah doesn't have to You, you, you can't even respect. Yeah. This is pop. Can everybody just respect when one person speaks? If the Imam speaks, let him speak. When I speak, can you guys honor that? Yes, we can. Can you honor that? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Now we said 
the, the God attribute or Allah's attribute is not, is not separated from him. Yeah? And as well, Allah doesn't have only 99 names. Allah has many more than that. But we are aware of 99 names. Those names are the qualities of Allah. For example, when God says, God is justice. Yeah? So one of his names is the justice. That doesn't mean, for example, you say, this is the justice. Yes, it represents God, it represents Allah. But it's not, it's not separate from him. So those are the qualities of Allah. That's the thing here. To say, to, to use different terminology, because the way that we are, we, we learn Islam, is not the way that you think it. We learn Islam in a way that we say, those are the qualities of Allah, and that's how we stick to that. As simple as that. Yeah. Now, does the word of Allah represent Allah? If the word of Allah is true and perfect, yes, it is it represents Allah. It came from him, because the word of Allah is perfect, and it is the truth. Now, can we say, for example, that the Quran does the Quran represent Allah? Yes, the Quran represents Allah. That's why we are allowed to make a in the Quran. It's fine. We have we have no we have no issues with this. But we'll say the the, the meaning of it, which means the, when we say the speech of Allah, that means Allah. One of His qualities that Allah speaks in the way that suits His Majesty. As simple as that. Now, I asked this. I answered this. I asked you a question before, and I said to you, what you did I said to you. You give me example of the reason and the sun, and they said to you the reason doesn't represent the sun, which this analogy is not is not attached to the Jesus. You said Jesus fully is representing God, and again I said to you, and you bring me the the reason example, and they said the reason doesn't represent the sun, the reason doesn't definitely represent the sun. Yeah. So again, going back to you, when God is perfect, you said Allah is perfect, or if God is perfect according to you, and now that that, that means God. Doesn't forget as well. He knows everything. He has the knowledge of everything, and as well, God as well is all powerful. So when you attribute, when you are belittling God, to put God in a situation or in a place where it doesn't suit Him, that's not God anymore. That was your sure. Um, the word of God comes forth from God. Okay. The reason why you and I both believe that the word of God is Allah, and you're agreeing to that. Right? I don't say is. I mean, represent Allah. But is. Okay. Which one are you? Which one? I don't say is Allah. We don't say this. Okay. Whatever. So he, we don't say this. Okay. So I want to just know clearly, so I can know how to communicate with you. The speech well, of hold on, Allah. Hold on, hold on. Just let me, Allah. let me let me just finish my sentence. Yeah. The word of God are the attributes of Allah. Okay. The attributes. Okay. Is that Allah? Yes or no? Yes. The attribute. Yes. The attribute. Yes. Okay. Attribute. Good. 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 So. We believe, just like you, that the attributes of God are God, but the attributes are revelations or manifestations of the person. For instance, when I speak with you, I don't know your wrath or your judgment or even how you feel right now. All I know right now is what you reveal. But what you reveal comes after and it comes forth from you. So what I'm trying to say is that Jesus being the Word of God is the revelation of God. So the reason why he didn't say he knew the day or the hour at that time was because that was not the will of the word at that time. The word didn't okay. say. Do you understand uh, my yeah. definition? Clearly. The you word didn't say. With okay. It, okay. Okay. But do you understand? Yeah, the let, word. Let me analyze oh, just answer my question, please. Answer my question. Do you I understand? Okay. I understood. I understood. Do you understand? I understood. I understood. I disagree totally. Mm. Okay, you disagree, yeah. but you understand. Yeah. For example, the impression that I give to you, it, it represents me, but it's not me. It represents me to you, but it's not me. Which means the speech, my speech to you, what you see from me, my, for example, my manners to you, it represents me to you. This is the image in your mind. Sure, sure. But it's not me. And who is it? I'm here. Which means it is distinct from me. Okay, you understand? I, okay. Good. It yeah. is distinct, but so, yet it's you. No, it's not me. Now what is it? It is it is it is your image which you have in your brain about me. These are what you think, what this is the impression that you have from me. But it doesn't represent me because if I will take it in a way, the same analogy, I for example for you or my image to you is something, for him is something else, for another one is oh something else. Lady. So each one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let I am here. I'm hold on, guys, guys, one person at a time. You one think person. bad about hold me. On, one he thinks good about me. Yeah? Okay, hold on. You think I am devil. He thinks I am, for example, honored person. You see? That's okay. why. That's my impression. Of this is okay. your impression. So it is subjective again. So that's why it is distinct from me. When you say the word of God, yeah? When, when we say the word of God, what, what do you mean the problem? That Allah is able to speak. This is, what, this is what we mean, the word of God. So ability of Allah to speak, this is how we have. Now, if you say 
that the word of God, if it's if it come to us, yeah, so it represent the God, but it is when when you say that Jesus, for example, represents God, now it become distinct from Him. If it's distinct from Him, it doesn't it, rep it could represent Him, yeah, but it's not Him. That's why it's not worth to be worshipped. Okay, okay, pause, 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 pause. The same. That's let him why, finish. Why, let me speak. That's why we don't worship the Quran. We don't. You don't worship the Bible. You understand? So because it is distinct now. Now say that was your turn. Okay, good. So I, I love what you were saying because you're you're answering all the questions right there. What you're saying is that when you actually express yourself, the expression of you, you're saying that's not you. But you're saying it still represents you. So, so let me just finish. So either there's two yous, okay? Because the, if you don't have a definitive revelation and manifestation that is certain that I can know that hmm, this guy, that's who he is. The reason why uh, you say uh, Allah has 99 names because there's definitive words like he's just. Just has a meaning. He's merciful. Merciful has a meaning. Okay. So when you see those 99 attributes revealed, you know, wow. That must be Allah because that's who He is. Mm, so yes. when you see the revelation, mm. that's who He is. Now, I agree with you. The revelation or the manifestation of who you are is not you, but yet it is you at the same time. And this is the mystery that Christians want to teach you, your mm. older brothers, mm. yes. that there is one God mm. who is revealed eternally mm. as the Father, Son, and, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Spirit. And you believe yes. it, okay. and you declare it, mm -hmm. but you don't understand no, no, it. No, 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 we, no we, we understand what you said, but we, we, we don't declare it. We don't declare it. Now, <laughs> again, now going back to you, to your analogy again. This you is said according to, to, uh, to the analogy, the, the, the same analogy that, <laughs> that means my manifestation, I could have more than 100 I'm not yeah. interested in no one else at all. So it cannot be all of me. <laughs> this is the, what the people, they took it from me. Uh, uh, okay. The other thing, what do we know? again, again, if God is perfect, again, you said Jesus is perfect. Yes. Now, and when I asked you yes. initially in the, in the first question, <laughs> when Jesus was, was crucified, he said, oh God, Oh, uh, oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? So, so there is now. If, if God is perfect, and you said, you, did Jesus willingly submit himself to crucifixion? Yes. So, so how, if he's willingly, why is why is complaining on the cross? I respect. I respect. Respect. Listen, the the rules that he came to speak to me. Guys, guys, guys. I don't want. I don't. Listen. I'm talking to him. He's talking to me. Please go. Okay, now here. Are you going to finish with that thought? I, don't, I, I finished that. Okay, then let me answer that thought. Okay, good. So, here, here's what I got to say to you. It's very clear. If you're going to... Uh, what, what you're doing, and it's very clear, is you're doing the same thing that the New Age philosophies do. Is basically you're saying that things don't have a meaning, everything's relative. Because what you're saying is that, well, I could have a thousand or million uh, attributes. Uh, and so I can't really say that that's my attributes. You're not saying those words, but that's what you're basically saying. But the, the, if you believe in the Quran, it's definitive. It has sp specific meaning. Okay? The Bible says God is holy. That has a specific meaning. The Bible says God is love. That's a specific meaning. It's not up for debate. It's not changeable. God doesn't change. So here's what I'm saying to you is this. If you say that this is who you are, okay, your revelation or your characteristic, that's who you are, or it's not really who I am, but it's something distinct, then either you're saying that there's two yous, or that, okay, let's, uh, that let me just finish. Either you're saying there's two yous, or that you don't exist. Because someone who exists has real, tangible manifestations and characteristics that you can count on. That's how you know that, that you are worshiping the true God. Otherwise, if you can't say you're worshiping the true God and say, I know God is one, one in uh, singularity. If you can't say that for sure, because if you're going to say, well, God's attribute is one, but then everybody else uh, uh, thinks that one is something different, therefore you should have no problem with the concept of the Trinity according to your own philosophy. No. 
because what, what, because what you said. Is, no, no, listen, listen, exactly. listen. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because, because what you said. Okay, you're, 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 it's not you're, you're, about a minute. Yeah, switching no, I'll finish. Yeah. Because what you said is that everybody can interpret your manifestation or your revelation differently. So therefore, everyone can interpret oneness differently. Everyone can interpret love differently. In fact, there's no definition of love. So we might as well just have a free for all. Hindus are right. Christians are right. Muslims are right. According to your philosophy. Now, if you're gonna bash, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But if you're gonna if you're gonna say that your philosophy is wrong and you're gonna back away from it, then you have to admit that your revelation is you. It's distinct, but yet it's you. And if you end up admitting that, you're preaching Christianity. No, that's a true story. Is, what you said, praise the Lord. Most of what you said is nonsense. Let's say. First of all, I was talking about shouting my. You said I'm gonna shout in you. The impression that I have in you represents me, which is no, no. This is. This is nonsense. Wait, wait, say that again. The, say that again. You said the impression that I have in your mind is is me. No, no, this no, 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 no. Again, this wait, is what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. That's I said not to you. That's no, not what I said. Let me okay, finish. Okay, okay. I said to you initially, and again, and again, my impression to you or to him or anyone, yeah, is distinct from me. That's what I'm saying. Because this is your impression that's that you have. What I was. No, 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 that's the initial thing you said to me. Okay, if you want me to clear that up what I have I about you, no, no, no. does it yeah, represent that's what you? you I said saying. to you, no. That's what that's okay, wait, wait. Can I clear that up? Yeah, okay. Okay, what you are, okay. With all due respect, with all due respect, yeah. you, I will give you the mind. I want everybody to respect what you have to say when you speak. Okay? Now, what I said to you is that you have a revelation or attributes of you that is definitive. Okay, there's a characteristic of you. Whoever you are, you're an imam, I'm assuming. You're someone who's a hafiz, I'm assuming. Okay, those are characteristics of you. You, okay. you look yeah, like yeah. you come. Okay, okay. that is definitive. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, I just okay. listen to you. Debate. You define that. It, 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 that's who you are. So, okay, that's and there's a meaning. Okay. Now, after that, is that so, make yeah, sense? so it's, it's, you are talking about my attributes, right. my own, for example. That's what I was my yeah. Yeah. So my attributes, yeah, they represent me. Okay. Okay. You, they, they represent me. Yes, yeah. they are me. They are me. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, for example. My speech, for example, if I say something, and this right. something became right. a yeah, it could have presented me, but it's not you. This is what I'm saying to you again. If I wrote something, it could have presented me as a person, my ideas, my ideas, what I'm going to say. All is not me, it is distinct from me. And again, I'm repeating this. So if God, you say, the Word of God became into flesh, now it becomes distinct from God, according to your definition. That means if the God, if, God, if the Word of God became into flesh, now it is distinct from God that it represents God but it's not God that's what I'm saying to you from the beginning that's what I'm saying to you from the beginning now we finish this now the next point okay wait wait we no, no, wait, wait. no wait, wait finish this point one and then we go to the second two because we're going into the second no no we're not going to second hold on hold on no no hold on exactly okay it doesn't matter about the water what was the water difference it can't be the same time to the right okay respect my time look 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 Look, okay, okay, sir. I know you're you to anyone else. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, what I'm saying is exactly what you're saying, except you're not acknowledging what I'm saying. I'm saying that the word of God or the attributes of God come forth from God, they represent distinctly, they are distinct, but yet they're one with God. Either are they distinct or not? Very simple. Both. No, they can't okay. either distinct. You know what? You know. Okay, I'll explain. I cannot think is your spirit the same thing as your body? No. But your body is you. Yes. And your spirit is you. Inside me. So how many yous are there? Me and my spirit. Good. The body and the spirit. But the, but the spirit comes first and the body comes after. About, about, uh, still, we are inside. We are one person. Okay. Not so the care. If, if no, the spirit went out, now it became distinct. Now it becomes something else. Okay. So, so here's what I'm saying. When, when you manifest your attributes, that is you. Okay? Your attributes are you. It is. No or yes? Again, again, again. again. No. But look, we are going in circles. Can I make a quick second. point? Again, me, I'm as attributes ahead. now here, here, yes, me. But as soon as they came out and they became into something else, they become distinct from me, they represent me, but they are not me anymore. You know why? That's what I'm saying you, you know why? Okay. You know why the book is not Allah? You because it's distinct no, from me. Because God is a real being. A book is a book. Mm. Who said the book is Allah? Who said the book is Allah? Why are you making no, no, You didn't say the book is. The reason why you're saying. So why are you that, that these are the, the qualities. Yeah, the qualities of God that you see written 
Those are written to explain the true quality. Not only that, we have two. They're books. symbols we of have, the true faith. For you to know, we Words are symbols. We have the Quran, but Jesus, Jesus is a Quran. living being. Oh, good, uh, we have the Quran, and as well we have as well the universe, which is open book. For example, the, for the companion of the prophet, they said, "How do you know God is mercy? Because we see His mercy in His creation." Okay. That's why we share. Okay. So mercy. what? Then, then what you're telling me is that the only way for you to know God is through something else. That's not God. No, no, there's more. You, you, we're going out. Oh, either, either, either you know, either you know God. We are born. Okay, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Nature, so either you're telling me yeah. that you can know God through his, through his attributes, and his attributes are God, oh, no. or you're saying that I need to have either mm. creation or mm. a word or something else that's not God yeah. to know God. Yeah. Which one is? It? Okay. We are born in natural. No, which one is? We are born in natural disposition that we know God. We believe in God. We born as believers. How do you know God? Because we we born as believers. We know there is a Creator of us who created us. Yeah. Those we are born with this. The second point. After that, God sent messengers one after another. So you're made in the image of God. Yeah. God sent messengers. Not 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 to say the image of God. I'm saying God sent messengers from us, people like us, people from different places. Messengers went to Africa. Messengers went to all the all around the world. They went. God sent messengers. Those messengers they came to to de to deliver the message of God to the, to the human. So that's another way. And as well the third way, which is the universe. Okay. So Allah said in the okay. Quran. What was the first one? Yeah. Sorry. The first one was the natural the natural disposition, which is Fitrah. That's what this position. Okay, so your body. No, we are born with this. We are born. Bones prove instinct. God. No, 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 no. Instinct. instinct. Yeah. But is your instinct Na God? Natural disposition. First thing. Okay, the natural thing. disposition. Through the prophets and messengers. Prophets. And as are the prophets the God? No, they're not. Okay. So what else can prove God? All the universe. So you're telling me the only proof you have for God is things that are not God. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is this is not really not relevant. No, 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 no. You're talking nonsense. You have no yes, proof of your questions. God, but I have proof because He came and dwelt amongst this us what you in thought. Jesus this Christ. What you this what you You're thought. telling me I can know God through someone who's not God. I can know God through a prophet. I can know God through creation, but I can't know God through Jesus. Did Jesus come to be God? Yes. Hold on. Did he, did he come to be God? Yes. What? Where? Where in the Bible? John chapter four. What he said? Six and seven. What he said? He who has seen me has seen God. This time, what's this? If you see me, for example, if you see me, you see a Muslim. That, what does it mean? He who has seen, would you say the same so thing? He looks like the Father. Who has seen you has seen yeah. God? No. Who Good. forgives sin? Exactly. No. But you know what? Who forgives sin? So then, so then why who would you say sin? Well, say it. The disciples. If, if, no. if what Jesus said is so, is, is so not, this is not relevant. If, if, it's not relevant. You say it. Listen to me. Who forgives sin? If that's Jesus God said, God didn't prove that he was saying that he's God, then why don't you just say it? say it. As well, you know what? I'll tell you something. Just say it. I will tell you something. Say who has seen Mr. Imam has seen God. And as well, there is many, there is many God <laughs> from the children of Israel. Yes. 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 Is the word of God, the, the word God, the word God mentioned in the Bible, only for God Himself alone? You didn't answer my question. No, this, this, I was so you, okay, so are you Did admitting you that you're not answering my question? Did you look at Father? Let's say your God. Let's like suppose. Let's assume. Let's assume this. Let's just answer my question. Can you say? It? No. Do you have seen you? I won't say. Why won't you say? Because you're not. Why? Because I'm not. Exactly. The second Case point. done, guys. Case exactly. done. Second point. Exactly. The second point. That's a TKO. Exactly. No, 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 no. The second point. God so loved the world. I, 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 I gave you enough of my time. I gave you enough of my time. The second point. I gave you enough of my time. I gave you enough of my time. The second point. I gave you enough of my time. I'll say it. But God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him should not so, perish. So again, I, we had a again, civil debate with Mr. Said, Imam. You said, you said he cannot say he no. who has seen him has seen God. Why? Because, because he said in his own words, he is not but, God. But could there the you go. Say that? But, could How the is that but Jesus said it. But could the he, said said it. Yeah. he said it. He said he's God. Jesus. So what? Because he's Lord. And he said he's not My God. Friends, By the way, Jesus the is the word of God who was God and is God. So I answer any question. Now I'm going to give this guy an opportunity. I'm going to give him a chance. Okay, good. So we already dealt with the imam. Now we're going to know the time. Now, because I have a lot of conversations, I will talk to him. 
Do you no, want me to talk to you? Listen, yeah. listen to me. Just for, for example, the, the, the example that you said. Even Jesus himself. Even Jesus himself. You don't believe he's God. He never he said, said it. And what did he say? Why he didn't say it? Without ambiguous word to say, I am God. Very simple word. Why well, he need to go there? Okay. Why Let me he ask you to the, If you said these things. Again, even these things, even the Bible. Okay, okay. okay. We have issues. Even so, so you want a definitive statement where Jesus said, yeah, I, I am God, I am God. Yeah, very simple. I am. In very Amen. simple, listen, in very am. simple yes, statement. I am. So, I am. I am. Guys, 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 stop, stop, stop for a second. I hate to say before Adam. Okay, guys, stop for a second. We already, okay, guys, guys, let me, let me finish. We already proved my point by you proving with your own words okay, that what Jesus said, just fin let me finish, was proving that he was saying he was God. You already said you wouldn't say it because you said by you saying it, you would say you're God. Now, stop. This is not the proof. Okay. This is not the proof. How many of you want to keep ignoring me? What I'm going to say and let me finish my sentence. Now, in regards to any other thing that Jesus said, every Christian for 2,000 years has always confessed the sta same statement that Jesus is Lord. So all the texts with proper tasfir prove that the Injil is declaring that Jesus is God. Now, no matter which verse I shoot, it's not up to a Muslim to tell your older brother what our book says because you know nothing about it. You didn't even know what Injil meant. You didn't know the name of, e uh, name of Jesus meant. I guarantee you don't know. Listen, stop. I guarantee you don't know what the word Zabur means, Torah means. You don't know. Stop. Now, Did Jesus stop. say he was God? Now, Are you able to show us? You see this? Uh, you see this? Uh, you see this? That was the question you asked. Video, that was the question you asked. You see what goes on? Oh, you see when you got on? them in a corner. It's like it's like CKO Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now listen. Now listen. Okay. Now, 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 are not qualified to even teach anything about the Bible because you don't even know the basics. So therefore, if you're not qualified, I don't think this guy's qualified either. Actually, a guy, you don't. So, so what I'm trying to say is when people ask, where did Jesus say he's God? Every Christian knows. But you like try to take the verses all oh, he didn't say this is not this. What do you know? Why you don't know? You don't know the words they say I'm God. So so no offense. No offense. You can't teach Bible if you don't know Bible. No, for example. Have you read the entire Bible? Okay. Have you studied it properly? I studied it to some extent. To some extent. Yeah. You can't say you're a scholar on the Bible. No, 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 no. Okay. So so listen, if if you don't have you ever did Greek exegesis on the Bible? I have read some part. Have you ever did Greek exegesis on Okay. So, so if I were to give you those verses that were talking about Jesus being God, you can't say I've done actual Greek exegesis to know whether it's really saying he's God or not. Let's just be honest. The problem is, it's the same way. If you were to ask me the same thing about Arabic, if you were to say, look. Pastor David, have I done Arabic, deep Arabic study of the Quran? And I would say no. Okay. And, and then you would ask me, okay, do I know exactly what this means? Perfect. And I would say, because I don't know Arabic, but I've read it. Yes, I did. I've done it. Yes, I have. The Greek Bible. Yes, I have a master's degree in religion. Okay. Yes, so I have. You have done that. Right. Okay. Now here, what do you say? To, what do you say to you? In the Greek, when, when Jesus, for example, said, whoever saw me, who saw God, what's the meaning of saying Greek? What's the meaning of it? It's the yeah, same exact meaning. In the Greek, in the Greek. You said in the Greek. I don't remember. In the Greek, in the Greek, please. Wait, wait. In the Greek, please. Okay. Is he the folly here? I know Greek. If you give me a Greek Bible, I'll read it. No, no, no. You said, you, you know it's in my hand. No, I never said I memorized it. You never said I memorized it. It's on the tape. When did I say I memorized it? You said to me. I said I did Greek exegesis. Okay. Okay. You said I knew about it. So, so that's the question here. I don't know about it. If you don't know the translation of it. No, I know the translation. What's the original? What's the original? I know the translation. What is the original language? This is what we call it. The New Testament is coined in Greek. The New Testament is coined Say it in Greek, please. If you give me a Greek, I'll read it. Say it in Greek. I don't know the same. Word. So you don't know. It. So you don't know. It. 
So someone, you're that's talking the best about, you got? No, so the, this, this oh man, you have, okay, you have, you have, you have this, that's you have this. That's, that's why you sit close to the audience here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wish, I wish yeah, you are genuine. Right, right, no, you sit no, no, I, think, I think this conversation is over. The, the, with all due respect, exactly. with all exactly. due respect. But anyway, I will tell you something. With all due respect, man. With all, with all the end of the day. Let me shake your hand. Why did you lie? Let me shake your hand. Why did you lie in front of the audience? I actually did it. You did. You said. You said. You didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. You didn't say anything here. Give me a Bible. I'll read it right now. In the language, is even the language is translated to another. It will lose. I'm not happy. You lose the entire Bible. The original. The entire Bible is ten times bigger than the Quran. That's that's a problem. That's another thing. All the best. That's why. All the best. Anyway. All the best. Anyway. What is love? This is love. Now, now you, with you, I'll say to you, what do you, you don't accept, ask the question. First and yes. foremost, so, I, so we just heard from an imam, doesn't know the Bible. Oh, come on. And you do not agree with the Bible. No, I actually do know the Bible. You do not agree with the Bible. You do not memorize it. You do not agree with the Bible. What's so hard to understand? You do not agree with the You do not agree with the Bible. Give me a Greek Bible. Say, I am why I'm in Greek. She didn't say that he doesn't know He can't remember. Yeah, that's the first part. That's why I am. Okay, I am in Greek. Say, I am why I am in Greek. I'm not to say you just that. said I am. I don't know how you speak. I don't know how you speak. I don't know how you don't know how you speak. I 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 I don't have masters. I'm no imam. I'm just a layman. I'm a student. So you're more than welcome to teach me. Okay? I'm willing to be taught by anyone as long as it's productive. Now okay. you mean, man. With Stop regards to the Bible, Stop. let me ask you one question. In the real world, okay. let me not do, do you mind not interrupting me? We don't do a special. <laughs> so so, so, so let, me, let me ask you this. You believe Jesus is fully God. You believe the Father is fully God. And you believe the Son is fully God. Okay, very good. I already answered that question. Are you going to show us anywhere in the Bible? I can't tell you. I answered that question already. No, I'm again. Can God. Stop talking to him now. Yeah, that's fine. Can God. Do you believe God is almighty? Yeah. Can can oh, God have an authority higher than him? Uh, yes, his word can. Yeah. No, can God have authority higher than him? I'm making sure. How many gods are there? Can that one God have an authority higher than him? His word can. Yeah. That wasn't my question. Yes. Can that one okay, God have authority higher than him? I just him? showed you. His revelation okay. can be in submission to him. So basically you're telling me that God can have a God? I can tell you his word is under submission to him. Okay, let me rephrase yes. the question. Can God I have... said yes. I haven't even asked the question. Let me rephrase no, the question. Yeah. Can oh, God, God have a God? Oh, God, yes. yes. God can have a God. How many God do believe in? One. <laughs> All right. Right, 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 Yes. So one God so has another God. You want to uh, oh, understand? Do you, you want to understand? Seriously, listen, listen to yourself. yourself. Do you want to understand biblically? Biblically? Yeah. yeah God. Okay. God. Good. Show me where in the Bible it says God has oh, God. Oh God, yeah. your God, you, God is elevated to you. Revelation chapter one. Psalms. Psalms. I'll write the name I'm of my God. God. And, 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 uh, you're doing it again, man. Please. I'll find. I'll find you. Yeah, but you're shouting in my ear. I'm sorry. I am sorry. This is like the first time I'm telling you. I'm sorry. It's never spent. Okay. So Revelation talks about Jesus saying, "I'll write." The name of my God mm. upon your forehead. Say again? I didn't write the name of my God. Yeah. So, so you believe your God as a God? Sure. Okay. By the way, am I am I correct in understanding now, that? Do you actually want my definition or the biblical definition? Yeah, biblical definition. Sure. Okay. So in Deuteronomy so, 6 4, in Deuteronomy 6 4, what does it say? Zero is the Lord of God is God. Yes. So how, many, how many did he say? One. one. Okay. Yeah, God. Okay, that one God. Here is your Lord, your Lord, your God is one. Is that one God having another God? Do you want me to, I, I, I've already answered your question. Because you I said yes. Admit it. Admit it. If I heard it correctly. Listen, listen, you did hear me correctly. If I heard it correctly. You did hear me correctly. Yes, go on. Okay, now do you want my definition? Yeah, go on. Show me in the Bible where it says I, God has a God. Okay, you, you asked two questions. I'm going to answer man. both. Oh, God. God. The Bible says in the beginning, Elohim, which is a plural form of God, created the heavens and the earth. Okay, number one. Okay, that's number one. It's a plural form of God. Of a singular God. The verbs are singular and the word is plural. Second, Deuteronomy 6 4 says, Hear, O Israel, Shema Yisrael, Denai, Elohim, Denai, Echad. Echad is not Yachid. Yachid is a single singularity that is different from Echad. The two different words. Echad is a, a, a plural unit. Carry on. Okay. Do you, do you even know Hebrew? Do you know Hebrew? Yeah, I do. Okay, Elohim, you said, means always plural. Is that right? It, it, it's a plural form of Elohim. Does Elohim, Elohim. can Elohim mean singular? 
It can. It can. It does mean singular. Okay. It can. It always means singular. Okay, so. But it's in a plural form. So it means singular, but it's in a plural form. Yeah. Please explain that. Yeah, I, I will. Because God. God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Why in the Bible does it say that? Oh, Matthew chapter 20, 18. Read it to me. Go into all the world, make disciples of all nations, right, baptize them in the singular, the singular name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so what does that prove? You're doing it again, bro. Stop. Let him go. Seriously. You keep saying sorry and then you do it again. Great team. What's wrong with you? Honestly, man. Can you? Can you? Okay. So basically, you told me, you told me 28 19. Yes, it says, go and baptize them. Actually, Matthew chapter 28. The great permission. Okay? It's in Matthew 28 19. Okay? And it says, go and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. So at best, it's a singular name. Sure. Okay? So for example, if I have three people all called David, yes, it's a singular name, name that they share. So at best, these three people share the same name. What is the name of the Father in the New Testament? In the New Testament, his name in the Old Testament is Yahweh. I asked you in the New Testament. Yo. You're a pastor, you know the name of your God, right? Yo. What's the name? Is Yahweh in the New Testament? So, so what's the name of your father? Jesus. Well, the only time it mentions the name of God in the New Testament is Theos. Jesus. Theos is not a name. Theos just means God. So, you, I agree. so are you telling so me his name? Jesus. I mean, I, listen, his <laughs> name is Yahweh. Is David, is it in the New Testament? That's David, yeah. No, the name Yahweh is it in the New Testament? No. Yahweh no. Says, okay, so in the are you language. are you telling me that you Christians have not been blessed with the name of God in the New Testament? We because have. we have the old. No, but do you have it in the New Testament? His okay. name is Jesus. Can you pause for a second? Let me actually answer. Yeah, please. Yes, please. Do you, do you know that Jesus read from the Old Testament? Yes, yes, he did. And do you know that he was preaching under the Old Testament? Yes. And so everybody that he preached to knew the name of God. It does. Yeah. That it was Yahweh. Yeah. That still doesn't answer my question. So why is it not in the New Testament? Because the Old Testament, okay. from what I understand, was revealed to whom? Was it for the Christians? Yeah, was the Old, the Old Testament. Testament was for anybody that would receive the word of the time. No, no. At that time, was it for the Christians or was it for the Jews? Thank you. So the Old Testament is a covenant for the Jews. Thank you very much. That's absolutely right. The New Testament is for? For the entire world. Right? The Christians believe in the New Testament. Do the Jews believe in the New Testament? Some do. I didn't some answer, do. Some. I'm saying the mainstream Jews. Do they believe in the New Testament? Well, what do you mean they are not real Jews? What are real Jews? They're the synagogue of Satan. What are real Jews? Real Jews are those who believe in Jesus. Yeah. Only those are real Jews. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone in the Old Testament who did not believe in Jesus, they're not, yes, they're, they're going to hell. They are not Jews. Yeah. Okay, you have to find me that definition from the Old Testament. Sure. Because well, I'll tell you that. what Paul the Apostle made said. It up. He who is a real Jesus Jew is a Jew from the heart. Yeah. First and foremost, the question, the question I asked you with regards to the New Testament yeah. is the New Testament is a testament for everybody. It's a covenant to okay. Israel and the You know the what? World. If this is a testament for everyone. Yes, why did you switch off the camera? No, keep the camera. I'm tired. What happened? No, no, the camera's on. You're live. No, not with that one. I'm not All right. Yeah, he he has has his his own. The New Testament, which is for everyone, guess what? It doesn't have the name of God. The Muslims have been blessed with 99 names. And the New Testament, which is supposed to be for everyone, zero name so of God. Okay, okay. Oh, zero name of God. Name. You know the funny thing? The Wait, Christians hold on. have been blessed no, 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 no. with zero uh, names of God. So, so is, is, is Allah a name? No, no, wait, wait. Allah is a name, yes. You mean it's a title? It's, no, it's a name. What is it? What? Allah is the personal name of God. Every time you translate Allah into English, into an English translation, what do they say? Do you know Arabic? A bit. But okay. what does it say in English? Wait, wait. What is I know God, English. What is God for Arabic? You're not answering my question. I am. No, what no, is no, what is the main uh, no, translation no, of the word Allah in English? Allah. It's God. Uh, no. No. no, no, no. That's no. why you don't okay. know Arabic. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not about an Arabic issue. My friend, it's, it's about the person name. God means anyone. Ilham, anyone can yell. God means but the Ilham. scholars We're actually. All the yelling earlier. The, the scholars actually translate the word Allah. Which as scholar? God. Give me one name of a scholar who says Allah. Uh, the name translates to I don't the know God. The names of the exactly. But I can get it for you. No, get, get it for me. Make, yeah. make sure it's a reliable. Actually, I don't have the data right now. But he's using my phone. I'll, I'll tell you what. Using my phone. Doesn't matter. Somebody, somebody, pull up a data. I'll tell you. Get up a data. Because you don't know Arabic. Anybody else the Sheikh knows Arabic. Okay. At all. Are you willing to rely on him? That's not the case. When it comes to Arabic, that's not the issue. It's what is it the is name because you're trying. English. You're trying to dispute the name Allah into English. Okay. So you need to know the Arabic in order for it to be translated into English. Okay. The name. Okay. How about this? How about this? Yeah. What is the meaning of Allah? What is the meaning? Yeah. First and foremost, my question to you is oh. the name of God. You couldn't answer the question. What's the meaning then? I, I didn't say I didn't answer you the question. You said that's his name. You, what's you, what's you can't answer. You can't no, 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 I can. What? But, but since you're saying I don't know Arabic, I'm asking you. Yeah. What what's is the, the meaning, meaning of Allah? Let us know. Allah is a personal name, which is a unique name. Meaning. The name meaning. is the one who is a unique God, Almighty, 
The one who. That's so, the so oh, yeah, that's that's the meaning. You guys heard him. Okay. Yes. That's the meaning. So it means God. Yes. But, no. no, the one. <laughs> I'm not meaning God. I know that. I'm allowed to say something. Why did you lie? Please. You just said that. You just said that. I didn't lie. I asked you. What's the meaning? As a Muslim, what is the meaning? And you're like, it's the unique. Oh God. So it's God, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's your version of God. By the way, you know what you have just done there? What did I do? When I asked you about the name of God in the New Testament, you couldn't answer. No, I can't. Actually, I can't. Actually, I can't. But you went on a different I like the way you switched off the camera there. <laughs> no, the camera is running. When you knew your boy was losing, you switched it off. Oh, no, no, no. The Bible is not losing. Where is the camera? Where is the camera? Where is the camera? It's on you. Did you see that? It's on you. Did you see that? It doesn't matter. No, I'm different. I'm different. I'd rather have the big camera there. Don't touch me. Okay. So, Wikipedia. Yes. Oh, Wikipedia. Okay. That's not a Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, go on. So, somehow, Wikipedia is edited over and over and over by Muslims. Yeah. And, the, and the funny thing how Muslims use Takiyah, because they would say that Allah, no, that means God, they were God. But then when it's someone else, oh, that doesn't mean God, when it suits them. But Wikipedia somehow says the Aramaic word for God in the Christian of a Syrian Christian is Allah. Yeah. Allah. Yeah. Allah. That is the language of Ilaha. Jesus. Ilaha. Ilaha means so Jesus Ilaha. called Ilaha. God what? Allah. Allah. Thank you, my friend. Can no, no, no. Allah. You're actually. I'm thanking you. <laughs> no, I'm thanking you. You know what? How? Jesus okay. called God what? Okay, guys. Allah. Anyone can scream because louder. That was his language. Okay, uh, I'm gonna either let you go first or let me go. Can I go? Okay. okay. Did you guys just hear what I said? Ilaha. I said Ilaha. the Aramaic word for God yes. is. Allah. 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 Let, let me finish. Allah. Or Allah. Mm. So, what is the meaning of the word Allah? God. 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 Number one. And it says, Arabic speakers of all Abrahamic faiths, including Christians and Jews, because when Christians actually, when they say the word God in, in, in the Arabic New Testament, they also say Allah. Allah. Yeah. Because the meaning mm -hmm. is God. Yeah. So it says here, Speakers of all Abrahamic faiths, including Christians and Jews, use the word Allah to mean God. God. That's it. So let, let, let's go to what? So, so was I lying? No. Hold on. Hold on. No. You said it means. The Muslims, you are lying. No, no. The Muslims use the word Allah to mean God. Okay? It didn't say, it didn't say the meaning of Allah is God. Because the meaning in Arabic is Al Ilah. Okay. The God. So let's go to the dictionary. Okay. Why are you going to English the sources? The dictionary. When you, when you no, going I'm to, going to every go to, source right go now. Go to Muslim sources. I will go to that one too. Yeah, go to Muslim sources. Allah. When I, when I want to use the Bible, being, I don't God. go to the Quran. Let's go to another one. I don't go to the Wikipedia. The, 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 I just told him. I just told him. The meaning of the God in Arabic is very simple. It means Al-Ilah. The Dean Show. Bring it to English. The Dean Show dot com. An Islamic thing. This is what it says. Bring it to English. It says, what does the word Allah mean? Uh, hold on a second. It says here. Say it, say it. Okay. For various reasons, many people have come to believe that Muslims worship a different God than Christians and Jews. Listen, this is totally false. Since Allah is simply the Arabic word for God. Exactly, Arabic word for God. It doesn't mean the meaning of the word Allah is the God. Okay. It doesn't mean that. So the, because the Allah is the show, the Islamic Dean show says that I'm right. The dictionary says that I'm right. We Wikipedia says I'm right. So let's go to another trend. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Everywhere the Dean Show. Because, because what you... <laughs> I think, I think, listen, listen. You're, you're, you know what you're doing? You're, what am I doing? I what you're doing is... You doing. said I don't know Arabic. Yeah, you don't. But I said Allah means God. And you're saying, no, it doesn't. No. And I said, what does it mean then? You said okay. the premium being God. What. And then you said it doesn't mean God. Okay. And now you're saying it means God. Okay. What does Allah mean? If you know Arabic, God. Ilah. Ilah. What does Allah mean? Look it up, look it up. You'll get the same answer. Look it up. Let's look it up. Yeah, go on. This is what happens when you don't no, know no, language no. and you try to just go Google. This is what happens. Oh, so I'm, I'm just going Google. So yes, you are. Exactly. You're Googling. Ask Sheikh Google and you answer. Okay. Are you going to listen to anybody else? Yeah. Can anybody else talk at this juncture? Here we are debating over the meaning of Allah, which I don't even care. Actually, you're the one who started this. It means you're God. You're the one who asked it. I don't care. You're the one who asked it. You don't care. Okay, anyway, we get Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, guys. Hold on. This is my last thing. Why? Why? Because you're, you're not worthy of my time. Oh my God! <laughs> the word Arabic says Allah. The Imam is showing me. Listen to him. Listen. Just be 
Okay, you don't want to hear it. I know, I've heard it once. Praise the Lord. So God is telling.